What's up YouTube? I'm gonna do a quick little video on the Bamboo X1 Carbon on how to do a cold pull. Some of you may know this, some of you may not. Uh, anyways, maybe it'll help someone. All right, so what I've got first, I just got some uh, white, I don't know if it's ABS or ASA. I print a lot with ABS and ASA, so every, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 builds, when I remember, I'll try to do a cold pull. But first thing you wanna do is you want to heat your nozzle up uh, for this, I'm going to go to about 250 and I'll come back when it's heated up. All right, so now we're at 250. So I'm going to take this white ASA. I went ahead and pulled the tube out. It's easy if you take the AMS and stuff off the top, but I'm not going to. I'll put that in there till I fill it bottom out and you'll know because the little green dot comes solid and if you pull it out you'll see the filament sensor runs out so it's back in so now i want to come to the arrows right here and feed some filament in and just keep hitting it what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're hitting it it is pulling in the filament and you can see Right there, it's not, so we'll put it in a little bit more. Let's see if I can do it real quick. There it goes, now I felt it grab it. Okay, so now every time I hit it, you'll see if I can get it closer. Uh, let's see. Let's see there you, go. you can see it feeding in. So you wanna keep feeding it in until you see right here the white start to come out. So you just keep tapping that little down arrow. See it's starting to finally change to white. I like to get to where all the blue or whatever color is in there before is gone. All right, so I feel pretty good about that. Now you wanna come back to your temperature on your nozzle temp. And you want to turn it, let's see if I can refocus, turn it back down. If you're doing PLA, I think you're supposed to go to around like 100. For this, I'm going to go about 120. And it takes a little bit for it to cool off. Let me go ahead and pull that off. Uh, but I'll come back when it's cool. Okay, so now I'm at 120. So what you want to do is you want to hit up on the up arrow of the extruder on the touch screen. And while you do that, you kind of keep a little tension on it and you'll feel it pushing to you. And at some point it's gonna come off the extruder gears and then you'll just continually pull the rest of it out without the extruder helping you. Again, just keep tapping. There it is, just release. And now you can see, let's see if I can get it on the camera. Um, let's see, a little bit of black. You probably can't see it, but not bad so i'm good with that i don't need to go any further if you get more black or you see more stuff on it it's good to do it a few times to clear clear that nozzle of any old sediment or filter or not sediment filter filament that has settled in there can't talk uh but just do it a couple times until you see it clear and nothing no residue left on your white filament uh if you don't have white just pick a light color uh, that way you can see what you're doing and what you're getting out if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.